I really like using ORMs like Entity Framework, but one of the things I don't like quite as much is how easy it is to end up with an N plus one condition. So let's take a look at what an N plus one is and how we can find it with Ants Profiler. So I have a model here that has a product. Every product has a category and every product has a supplier. In my MVC app, it is going to pump this out onto the front page of the web page. So let's uh, run this up and have a look at what it looks like. Okay, cool. 77 products all on the front page. No problems there. If I refresh it, everything seems pretty quick. Often everybody would be happy with this, but there is a problem. So let's close this and I'm going to go up to my Ants menu and I am going to launch Ants Performance Profiler. And what we're going to do is let Ants run in the background whilst this app runs. And Ants is going to collect a whole bunch of diagnostic information about what is going on in the app. And we can see Ants is over here in my other window. Now we are going to run Ants against my local web application. And that is sitting over here in my SkyDrive. And we're just going to start profiling it. And now we have the Ants window and we can see that my web app is going to load just in front of that. Now as the web app loads we can see a little bit of activity on the processor time in ants in the background. We're going to let that front page finish loading and we should see that activity go back down to nothing. So that is great. Let's close the web app and stop our profiling. So ants has collected a whole bunch of great diagnostic information about what happened in just that one little page load. And what we'll see in a moment is the ability to drill down and have a look at uh, both a call stack and also have a look at database calls. And when we're talking about ORMs and N plus one, it's the database calls that I really want to look at. So when we go into these database calls, we can see we've got a little bit of a problem over here. So we've got eight hits on one of these uh, particular SQL statements here. And if we click on that, we'll see the SQL statement down below. Uh, probably more importantly though, up here we've got 29 hits on this one. And in fact, on that last one and on this one, we can see that it's the same statement, but it passes a parameter. Uh, now what's actually happening here is that when that page loads, we'll see that there are only two hits on this particular item just here. So this item here is selecting everything out of the products table and it's ordering it by ascending. Now we're getting two hits on that for a reason we'll see in the moment. But what's important for the context of this demo is that one hit is giving us a whole list of products. And then all of these other hits up here are happening because the ORM keeps going back to the database and saying, OK, now give me uh, in this case, give me the supplier with ID 1, give me the supplier with ID 2 and 3 and 4 and so on. And then it does the same thing with the categories down here. So it's actually a very inefficient way of loading the page and you start to have problems once your database and your audience gets large. So let's close down that guy and we'll go back and fix the problem. So into the home controller and this time we will do an include and we will include category and we will also include supplier and that will fix the large number of loads. The other problem we had is that when our model loads there's a count on the model and because this method is returning iQueryable the query is being executed a second time for the count. So what we're going to do is just return a list so that this will finish all the work it needs to do with the database. And we'll do a quick rebuild. And let's run it again. So this is going to look exactly the same in the browser. It's still just going to load a list of uh, products, which is just fine. The difference this time is going to be that we should be able to do the whole thing with just a single database query. Now really all that's going to happen in the background is it's going to be a join. So rather than just load a list of products and then uh, go out and make individual requests to uh, categories and suppliers, it's just going to do a join from those products under categories and suppliers. That is finished. Stop the profiling. And get ready for our database calls. And what we should have here is just one database call. There we go, one database call, and as expected, it's got joins. So that's it, Ants Profiler identifying the N plus one lazy loading ORM condition.